Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to keep snakes away from the poultry farm or from your chicken coop, whichever you have. Now, I've had an experience with snakes before on my farm. Let me just walk there. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. This place over here, this is a little tiny rock we have. And you can see the chicken house right here. So, before, underneath this rock, there used to be a hole. A small hole. And guys, when I just brought in my chickens, they probably were just a few months old. There's a snake which had started digging in here. So it would slip in here and then it would make some weird rattling sound in the night which would scare the chickens. And we tried digging it out and we failed. We tried putting some paraffin because we were told that if you pour paraffin inside the hole, the snake will be, you know, will try to come out. But I guess the hole was too deep and everything like that. And it was under a rock, so there's no way we could get to it until we noticed, oh my God, what are we supposed to do? We just cleared all the bushes around and for some reason, everything that attracted the snake disappeared. So the snake disappeared. So I know that snakes can be a really bad thing and a complex thing. In my area, we don't have lots and lots of snakes, but I know there are people who have lots and lots of snakes in their places. And what I want you guys to know is that the snakes are attracted by something, yeah? They don't just come out of nowhere. But this is the little naughty garden I'm trying to prepare. As you guys can see, this is just some chicken mesh that I'm using. Um, now this place, I had dug it up, but because my compost, right there, I have compost. I don't know if you guys can see it, yeah? My compost, I'm just letting it to compost for probably two or three months before I put it in this garden. Um, I'm so excited about this no dig thing. Anyway, I was saying, the snakes just don't come from nowhere. The snakes are usually attracted by something. And guys, snakes love eggs too, just like us human beings. I don't understand how they love the eggs though, considering, you know, they don't test anything. They just swallow the egg hole. But they love eggs. But what you need to know is that the snakes usually never come to your farm because they are looking for eggs. No. They are usually looking for, for vermin. They are looking for some kind of rats or mice that are usually in the chicken house. And that's because of things like the chicken feed that usually keeps the snakes at your place. So without wasting time, how on earth do you keep snakes? out of your poultry farm number one barriers yeah the kinds of barriers you use you see this this is a wall yeah and how on earth is a snake going to dig through this kind of wall a snake would never be able to go through this so make sure that the walls that you use for your chicken house are strong walls you know use a concrete wall like this is a brick wall brick and cement um you guys saw my chicken coop. It's made out of iron sheets, yeah? Galvanized iron sheets. And they, a snake can't move up the iron sheets. So you need to make sure that you use barrier walls. The other thing that you need to do is that, of course, some chicken coops are not made out of iron sheets or anything like that. So people use mesh like this. I don't know if you guys can see. This is mesh. This is chicken mesh, okay? But as you guys can see, this chicken mesh is quite thick. It has lots of holes and the holes are really big you know they are over an inch wide and what you guys need to know is that snakes are very 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 wise oh my god they can go through any kind of hole you'll be shocked that a small a snake bigger than this hole will actually go through this hole so what you need to do is that if you're using chicken netting or some kind of wire mesh you have to be certain that the wire mesh is small a quarter an inch is what i would advise you yeah a quarter an inch or less that's what's safe to protect you from you know snakes into your chicken houses then also you need to make sure that all kinds of crevices on your poultry house have been blocked especially at the doors the openings of the doors you need to be certain that all crevices are closed because if you don't close the crevices like i've told you snakes are very cunning they are very wise they'll find any kind of entry and they'll go through even the most tiny the most little of crevices to enter your chicken house by the way guys i need your wisdom anyone with experience in this you guys can see the goslings in the background well right now they're almost geese but yeah 
I can confidently say they are still goslings. Now, these geese, straw goslings, have refused to sleep in their house. Yeah? So I constructed a house for them here on the farm, as you guys might know, but they never ever sleep there. I know it's a little bit raised, but I know they can climb there because the other day it was raining and they climbed inside. But on other days, they just never do. And I'm not ready and willing to, you know, guide them into their house every day. And the problem is that when they sleep outside here, there's predators, you know, uh, dogs or things like that could come and hunt them out. Of course, we try to lock up the fence, but you never know what could happen. Or even thieves. So for some reason, they have refused to enter their house and I don't know. Someone should probably give me some wisdom on what I should do. Then the other thing that will help you keep snakes out of your place is the kind of floor that you have. As you guys know, snakes burrow. They are very, very good at burrowing, yeah? So if your floor is made out of, you know, just plain dirt, uh, you know, soil and things like that, of course the snakes are going to burrow through. So you want to be certain that you use some kind of concrete or cement on your floor. That's what I did for my chicken house. Or the other thing is that you can get some kind of wire mesh, like I've told you, and put it in the ground, yeah? That will prevent all kinds of animals from burrowing. Not just, you know, not just snakes, but even rats and all that kind of stuff. And talking about rats, guys, the main reason snakes come around your poultry house or your chicken coop is because there's rats or mice around. So what do you want to do? You want to make certain that you have no rats, you have no mice around your chicken farm. Because if you do, it's inevitable that you're going to have snakes coming around. So, you guys keep asking me, Hey, uh, we see a cat in the background at your farm. What's the purpose of the cat? Uh, that little tiny cat over there. But guys, that cat is tiny. It really eats a lot. But for some reason, it never grows fat. I don't know why. I think it can actually eat more food than me for lunch. But it never ever grows fat. I don't know where all the food goes. Otherwise, that little tiny cat on the farm is what eats all the mice around this farm. All the rats, all the mice, and that's the purpose. And I know some of you might be scared and like, oh, won't it eat the baby chickens and all those things? No, that's the advantage of growing up on the farm. So as you guys see that cat over there, it never eats the chicks, yeah? It actually plays with the chicks. I'll probably get a video one day when it's playing with the chicks, you know? It chases the little chickens around, then they chase it around, and all that kind of stuff. It has grown up on the farm, so it's a farm animal, well integrated into the farm life, and it knows, you know, its place on the farm. So, but then it will go around hunting for rats, for, you know, mice, and all that kind of stuff, and that keeps the snakes away. Then the other way you can keep the rats away, of course, is by making sure that where you keep your chicken feed is nicely rodent-proofed, yeah? So that the rats can't get in and all that kind of stuff. Or you use some kind of silo, which is, of course, expensive. But if you can find a way of rodent-proofing your feed, you'll be safe. Then the other thing which I'm certainly not doing very well at, and it's very important, guys, is keeping the bushes away. Guys, you see all these bushes? These things attract snakes. Now, I'm quite lucky because this place is not, like I said, well known for having lots and lots of snakes. And these bushes um, and all this grass are around because, guys, we have goats here, these pigs, then the, the, the geese and the goslings, they love to eat the grass. So um, they are doing a good job eating this. But you need to be certain that you can slash all the grass on your farm yeah you do this keep the grass down keep the vegetation down keep the places where rats and snakes would hide if you do that very well then you trust me you're going to keep the snakes away from the farm so do that and yourself then sometimes people talk about using repellents snake repellents now that's something i'm not certain about and i don't know if i would love because usually the repellents keep the snakes away using their the set of smell and that smell is usually quite pungent it's usually not nice and you definitely don't want, you know, your chickens taking in that kind of smell. So it's probably something I would keep away from unless the snakes are just too many and all the other methods have failed. Then you could go in for that, you know, using traps, using um, orders to keep the snakes away. So that was my quick guide on how to keep snakes away from the poultry farm. I once had a snake here and we've managed to keep it away and I believe you too 
can be able to keep the snakes away in case you have any questions or any suggestions leave them in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell that way you never miss out on an upload lots of love